the back rooms might end up being a permanent event in Pet Simulator 99 and we might have to end up selling everything. Now the Pet Simulator market is already in shambles with prices across the board plummeting with some of the most stable items in the game also dropping in price. Now in this video I'm going to go over the three reasons why the market has dropped so significantly as well as what this event being extended could possibly mean for that. And before we get into all that remember to join the discord link down in the description below we do daily huge giveaways and have a community that watches the market like a hawk and is a great place to go if you are looking to figure out what to invest in now let's get right into it and go over what this leak could mean all right so firstly going over the leak that we actually got we got this video from big games themselves which is essentially a garage door inside of the back rooms that opens up and we can see a date on there that is May 11th. Now behind the date in the darkness, we can see the Titanic Nightmare Cat in the back there being very creepy. So I'm not sure if the Nightmare Cat is something that's actually going to be in the update or this is just the theme that they keep going with for this whole backrooms event. But potentially they do make the Nightmare Cat chase us around the backrooms for this new little extension part of the update. But all we know at the current moment is that this seems to be some sort of garage themed extension to the backrooms that we already have in the game. And that seems to be what is going to be the focus of this new update coming Saturday. And prior to this leak, we had thought that this backrooms event would only be lasting for this week only so it seems that we are actually going to be getting a pretty significant extension and this could possibly mean that the backrooms is just going to keep getting expanded on and be a permanent part of the game now i'll talk more in a second about why this could possibly not be the case but we truly just do not know yet this is completely up to big games at this point and they are probably still deciding based on how the community reacts to this new update now clearly they have seen a lot of success due to the backrooms pack so I think anything that allows them to extend that pack being available will be very beneficial for them and is why I could see that they do keep increasing the length of the event. Like look at this guy, you're telling me this guy right here would not make the back rooms a permanent part of the game? Well that one's going to be up to you guys to decide. I'm going to get out of that room because it is super creepy. Now two updates ago I'm pretty sure is when we did get a refresh to the original forever pack. So I do not think it's out of the realm of possibilities that this week we do get a refresher to the backrooms pack so that big games can get people to spend even more money on this pack. Maybe they'll potentially add some new things to this pack so that it gets people trying to gamble and get more of this stuff. Or even potentially they could be putting in some sort of backrooms exclusive egg. But I don't necessarily think this is the case because they have found a ton of success with this black hole egg and there are still a ton of people buying it. There are already more black hole axolots in existence than the sketch cow in pretty much half the time that the sketch egg was for sale, meaning that they are selling a whole lot more black hole eggs than they were in the previous egg. Now for that reason is why I don't think they are going to make a new exclusive egg for this backrooms event, but we could potentially just see them add a backrooms exclusive egg and then keep the black hole egg in the shop as well. But obviously we haven't gotten any leaks about this. This is all speculation and stuff I've been seeing within the community. Overall though, I think the most significant news that actually comes from this leak is that we won't be seeing World 3 coming in this update on Saturday. As you guys know, we've been expecting a World 3 update, and we actually thought we were going to be getting it this week, but instead we got this new Backrooms extension. I talked about it before, but I do think the Backrooms update is a pretty good introduction to them starting up the weekly updates. 90% of players were not expecting big games to reintroduce weekly updates, so I will give them credit where it's due, especially because the game was in a very rough place before this. I think the weekly updates are perfect for what we needed from the game, but obviously there is still a lot of work that needs to be done. So hopefully big games can deliver on the rest of it. But let me know in the comment section what you think this leak means for the Backrooms update and how long you think this event will really last, which actually leads me into those three reasons why the market has dropped so significantly. 
but remember to stay till the end for suggestions about what you guys should actually invest in. But one major reason that we have seen such a decline in the market is because of how many of these plague dragons have been opened in the past few days. I'll have on the screen here, but at the time of recording this, we are just hitting 50,000 plague dragons that are existing in the market and that is only four days into this event meaning that we're opening over 10,000 on average of these huges each day and if we compare that to the amount of active huges that get opened we only open about 3,000 active huges which is basically to say that 10,000 huges being hatched every day is quite a lot and that is going to affect how the market is trading and the thing is if they continue continue to extend the event there are going to be so many of these plague dragons that are going to be in existence that the prices of huges could continue to go down for a while and there could potentially be a big reason why this doesn't happen but we'll get into that in a second but if the odds to get the plague dragon are staying the same then we could potentially see a bunch of these in the game so that's just why that's going to be the first point of why we've seen prices fall so much the second reason why we've seen prices fall so much is the introduction of these forever packs and specifically the backrooms pack in this update has caused a lot of deflation because when we do have these big updates the game gets over 200,000 people and a lot of people actually do spend their robux on these packs and when people spend their robux on this stuff it adds all of these items into the economy but it doesn't add any diamonds so for that reason the supply of a bunch of things goes up meanwhile we still have the same amount of diamonds which usually causes the prices to crash what is this room why is there just a random green room here in the back rooms but let's keep moving on this is a little creepy for me overall though now that we do have weekly updates we're going to have a lot more people spending robux on the game and buying those forever packs which is inevitably just going to raise the supply of a lot of common items and a lot of these exclusive enchants as well as the exclusive ultimates like the nightmare ultimate as you can see the nightmare ultimate is only 48 million diamonds which is absolutely insane because the price of this ultimate is 2600 robux and that is because a ton of people actually went ahead and bought this backrooms pack and that ultimate was decently common from there, which has led to the downfall of all of those prices, as well as that all of the exclusive enchants that are in the shop currently are super cheap the mini chest fortune which everybody thought was going to be a revolutionary enchant in the game including myself but now it is sitting at just 44 million diamonds which is absolutely insane for 2400 robux and even worse than this the shiny supercharge enchant which is only 10 million diamonds right now at the cost of 1200 robux because of this i definitely think big games is going to be looking to add some new exclusive enchants into the game and replace these in the exclusive shop because I'm sure nobody is buying them right now. But the third and final reason that we have seen a ton of deflation in the past few weeks is because of the current clan battle that is going on. So as many of you guys know, the clan battle is currently to create the most glitch gifts. So people are combining those cores that you get from grinding the regular area and whoever is able to make the most is going to win the clan battle. Now what this means is a ton of the top clans are spending a ton of diamonds to buy these cores from everybody they can so that on the last day they can combine as many of those glitch gifts and try to win the battle. Now what this means is that a lot of those top clan members are not going to be spending their diamonds in the trading plaza leading up to this event. The only thing they're probably going to be buying are these cores which is just another reason why the market has slowed down so much and why deflation has taken such a toll. But keep in mind the clan battle is ending this Saturday. So we could potentially see some inflation take over after the battle but obviously there's a lot of stuff going on so we're gonna have to see how the market actually reacts but the fact that the clan battle is ending is a potential sign that we could see the market shift in a different way than it has been so far but let's go hop into the trading plaza and i'll show you some of the stuff that i am buying and current flipping methods that are still working all right you guys so we're here on the glizzy now in the thumbnail i did say that you should sell this nightmare ultimate ultimate and the reason why i did say this is because since we're getting an extension to the backrooms event 
more people are buying that backrooms pack and we should get another flood of these things coming into the market now remember this is only if they do keep the backrooms pack in the same way that it is we could see a refresh to it where they add some new items so that people are actually encouraged to buy it again but if they do implement it in the same way that it was this week we could see the prices of this thing fall even further but obviously this is going to be up to big games and what they decide the other thing that i suggested to sell on the thumbnail are these black hole eggs now while these black hole eggs might be still really good to flip if you can find them for good deals because for some reason a ton of people when they buy them with robux still like to sell them underpriced by a couple million so you could take this and easily flip it like one to two million above wrap that's always going to be a good method for some people but long term we could probably expect these black hole eggs to be part of that backrooms pack which means that we will most likely be seeing a lot of these things come into the game on saturday which would lower the overall price once again and then finally the plague dragon is that last thing that i said you guys should sell especially if we are going to be seeing this event for another week we don't know if we're going to be getting a new huge for that extension to the back rooms but if we do see the plague dragon as the main huge for that extension then obviously a lot more of these things are going to be opened which should cause the price of this to continue to fall for quite a bit now it is very difficult to actually suggest you guys to buy anything specifically because the market is just basically reacting to whatever big games does at this point and obviously that is super unpredictable but one thing in particular leading up to saturday that's going to be a good investment and a really good flip right now are going to be the cores now i did a whole video on this a couple days ago but as this event comes to a close there are going to be a lot of the top clans going around trying to buy as many of these things as they possibly can so that they can be as high on the leaderboard as possible and on the other side of that there's going to be a lot of noobs and a lot of people that are just going to be selling these cores in their booths after getting them from grinding which is going to be a good opportunity for you to try to snipe them if they are under wrap and then go ahead and sell them for a little bit above or just at wrap value. And currently the best core to do this method with is going to be these epic glitch cores. And that's going to be because using these is the cheapest way to currently craft one of the glitch gifts. And because of that, clan members are going to be looking for these very heavily and are most definitely going to overpay for these because they are still going to be the cheapest option in order to get those clan points for their team. And besides that, I really can't give you any other suggestions because the prices of everything else is just solely dependent on what big games does with this update. Because if they make the huges easy to get, then obviously the prices of huges might fall. But if they do end up nerfing the chances once again, then we will see the prices of huges probably rise and the same deal with all of the exclusive enchants as well as the exclusive eggs we are pretty much just at the mercy of big games at this point so make sure whatever you guys are investing in is something that you are confident in and something that you do know i suggest to just continue doing your flips and making your diamonds during periods like this let me know in the comment section what you think about this potential extension to the back rooms and what you think the future has for pet simulator 99 i'll see you guys in the next one peace out